Hi guys and welcome to another video. If it's your first time here, hi, I'm Gabby. Welcome to Gabby's Happy Life. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys everything that I was preparing on this Sunday. Uh, it was kind of like a meal prep video as well as cooking Sunday dinner. So if you guys have been following along my journey, you would know that my mom was diagnosed with breast cancer last year, November and she is on her second round of chemo right now and so she really cannot stomach a lot of food and she was craving butternut soup so um, I decided to make it for her because whatever she craves is what we're gonna give her because that means that she can basically stomach it if she can't stomach it if she's getting nausea from it then you know obviously we won't make that food for her and you guys i was really struggling to peel this butternut oh my gosh i was peeling two butternuts this day um the first one peeled fine easy i got it done but the second one oh i was really struggling with it i know there is like a tip where you prick the butternut with a fork put it in the microwave for a few a minute or so and then take it out and it softens the peel up and it peels easily i don't know why i didn't do this that day but i figured since the first one peeled so easily i wouldn't struggle with the second one but ish i was just having a hard time on this day guys so what you see me doing here is i chopped up the butternut into little rounds like this um, and then I peeled each individual round separately. Afterwards, I cubed the butternut and then I divided it into three different parts. So what you see me doing now is I'm putting some of the butternut into a bag to freeze for later. Um, and then I added some butternut in a pot to make for Sunday lunch. And then the rest of the butternut for the soup in the big pot. Um, those are the peels that we take to the farm to give to the chicken. So for the pumpkin for Sunday's lunch, basically I just added some water uh, in with the pumpkin, just a little bit to basically cover most of it. And then I put it on the stove to start boiling. Once it started boiling, I turned down the heat and put it on a simmer. And then when it was nearly done, I added some sugar. But here you just see me tidy up a bit. I first put the butternut in the fridge, but then I realized that there's not a lot of space in the fridge. So later we put it in the freezer. Then I went on to prep the onions. So I needed onions for the butternut soup, as well as for the mince that I was making. I was gonna make like a little mince, uh, mince and macaroni pie for Sunday lunch uh, with the meat that we were making. So I needed to chop some onions for that. So I chopped up my onions and then I put them in a bowl so that they are ready to go when I need them. Now I'm just showing you that we were cooking a leg of lamb, a goat meat actually, goat la leg. And you can also see that the pumpkin is pretty much done at this point. I also cooked about one cup of rice. Um, so yeah, I'm just testing my oil. If it's hard, then I put a half of my onions in or the mince because the other half I'm going to use for the butternut soup. Um, so yeah, I just gave my onions a good stir, wet them down a little bit um, before I added my mince. Yeah, and I didn't really add any spices to my mincemeat. All I did was I add a whole can of tomato puree. I added some salt, uh, crushed chilies, and black pepper. And then you see my mom added like a whole can of corn. 
Um, we were also doing green beans for Sunday lunch. I was just showing you guys here. And then I had to make a sandwich for JP because he started to get hungry. Actually, my mom made the sandwich. I just put it in the microwave to melt the cheese a little bit. And um, I just cut it up and went to go give it to him. But yeah, this was around about like 10 o'clock. He hadn't had breakfast and he was getting hungry. So we made him a quick sandwich before having lunch at one. So I salted my water to cook the macaroni noodles. Also added some oil so it doesn't stick. Apparently, if you just add salt to the water and cook your noodles, it won't stick. So I cooked about three cups of macaroni for this recipe. The mince that I cooked was a whole pack of big a whole big pack of mints that I got from Woolies but um, I didn't use all of the mints in this recipe I halved it and the other half of the cooked mints I froze for a later date um, so yeah cooked about three cups of macaroni for this recipe I made the same dish last Sunday as well but it came out a little bit dry because I didn't make a white sauce for the noodles. So this time around, I decided to make a white sauce for the noodles. So I started off by grating my cheese. You guys, there was a lot of work being done in the kitchen on this day. A lot of dishes being created and a lot of me washing the dishes in between. So here I am just grating the cheese for the white sauce. Um, and then I don't know what is up with me, but I keep messing up my white sauce these days I don't have my ratio of butter to flour Correctly, and I think my milk is not the right temperature And I just think I'm just Whoa. I just keep messing up my white sauce where it comes out lumpy and things like that um, But I didn't measure my butter and I didn't measure my flour. I think there's the problem You're supposed to use ratio of one to one butter to flour and then slowly add in your milk as you see mm. me doing um, also, when I added the milk the first time, I think I, I was too slow and I ended up causing clumps with the flour. And also, the cheese didn't melt properly, so I probably have over processed cheese. The noodles are still cooking. Um, so, yeah, here you can see me add more milk, and after this, it just basically went downhill from here. Before this, it was still fine, but after that, it just went downhill. I added my cheese the cheese didn't melt in all the way and incorporate into the sauce really nicely so it was very clumpy but at least the pie or the dish that I wanted to make didn't turn out dry like last time so yeah now I'm just getting the noodles from the stove and draining them as you do By the way guys, if you can hear background noise, that's because I am sitting by the beach um, next to this pizza place and there are kids playing on the swings and people walking by and so yeah, I'm sorry for the background noise but here I am just rinsing my noodles, getting all the noodles out of the pot, then I dumped this noodles into a time saver pan just because I felt like our normal oven pan is too big this one is a little bit smaller and a little bit deeper so I thought that would be perfect but I think next time I would use a bit less noodles because I feel like the ratio of noodles to mince was um, a little bit off I had too much noodles here I'm adding the white sauce to the noodles to make it not dry yeah it turned out okay it's just I need to work on my white sauce a little bit more tasted really good by the way really tasted good. but yeah so I was trying to mimic lasagna but I didn't have any lasagna sheets that's why I used macaroni um, I'll show you guys what the noodles looked like mixed with the white sauce it was really creamy then I just went ahead and and scooped my mince over that at this point guys I was really tired of cooking and being in the kitchen I had been cooking all morning it was like around about 12 o'clock now almost lunchtime um, and so yeah I was just tired I just needed to put this in the oven melt the cheese a little bit and then lunch would be ready to go but I still needed to make the soup 
so here you see me grating some more cheese to put on top of the I guess you can call it pie I don't want to call it lasagna because I didn't use lasagna sheets but um, I just put some cheese on top it's like a mince macaroni noodle mac and cheese with mince pie I guess um, so yeah here you just see me grate the last bit of cheese and put that on top let me know if you want me to do more cook with me videos like this um, I could definitely do that for you guys here I am just showing you guys what it looked like just with the cheese on top and then I put it into the oven just for about 20 minutes just for the cheese to melt and while that was in the oven I started on the butternut soup so first I browned my onions a little bit and then I added my diced butternut to fry that with the onions for a little bit then I added some ginger powder oh my gosh you guys the ginger literally is what makes the soup delicious well maybe it's the cream at the end but the ginger gives it its flavor so you have to add ginger and if you're a fan of garlic you can add garlic as well as i said at this point i was really tired i forgot to show you guys that i actually put the soup into the blender and blended it before i put it back into the pot so that's just to get it really smooth and then at the final step i added some cream and then i turned down the heat to one just you don't want to cook your cream you just want to kind of like mix it in and turn off the heat at this point i was pretty much exhausted and done cooking thank you guys so so much for watching i will see you in the next one